Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube and welcome to C++ graphics tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can create line, um, basically draw a line by using C language or C++ language. In this video, I'm using Dev C++. Uh, you can also use code block. So how you basically run graphics file in Dev C++ or code, code block. I already have created a video on that. You can watch that videos on my playlist and sorry for my English. Please cooperate. <laughs> now let, uh, let, let me show you the result first. Compile and run. And here you can see we got the window which contains the line. This is our output of the code. Now let me explain you this code. So first we include our graphics.h in our file and then we include main function. Main function contains our code which is basically used to create lines. So the first function, the first function we use is init window. Uh, this function is used for creating window. Now what kind of window basically this function creates? So here you can see if I run my code, I got the output on uh, separate window. The size of this window is um, 500 um, uh, and the height is also 500. Um, now, this is a window uh, and this window is created by using function init window by using this function basically. It, this function uh, has two parameters, one for the width and the second for the height. If I change the height to 1000, now, if I uh, compile and run, the windows uh, width will be 500 and height will be 1000. Compile and run. And here you can see the results. So width is 500 and height is 1000. So this function is used for creating window and this window basically contains our result outputs basically now let's come to the second line which is called line function basically we are using line function here line function are used to create lines this function uh, have four parameters basically basically four values the first value represent x-axis the second value represent y-axis and once again uh, the third value represent x-axis this is a second x value and the fourth value represent y uh, value basically second y value now why the four function um, why the four values are used here let me show you in diagram so if you try to make a line let's let's create this line here you can see we have line and this line has two points one is a starting point here and the other one is a ending point here and if we uh, use graph to make this line, the let me uh, create a graph in this first point. This will be y-axis and this will be x-axis. And this x and y-axis will represent the value here for us. And for this ending point, the things will be the same. Here will be a y-axis, this will be a second y-axis, and here will be a second x-axis. And these two values are gonna represent ending point, and these two values are gonna represent starting point. And then after we will get our you know, starting point and ending point, we can connect them and we can get the line. So, and this is how it works. Let me um, basically put the same values like here. Here you can see in the paint in corners there are some values represented. The size of canvas is uh, 300 in uh, height and also in width it's 300. So let me put these values in our init window. Let's create 300 by 300 window for our output. And now let's have the values of y-axis. Here you can see um, x uh, the y value lies in uh, basically 150 150 okay so y value will be 150 and in x axis from here top the value lies between i think it's around 25 i think it's around 25 so x i will give 25 let me just clear this and this value i will uh, give 25 
and in ending point here you can see uh, the y value lies in again 150 and this x value lies uh, around 2 to 50 around 250 so the values will be like this uh, 25 150 and 258 and 158 now let me put these values in our code so the first value was 25 and the second value for the y y was the 150 and then the x was the 150 150 and the uh, uh, x was the 250 sorry and y was the 150 x was the 250 and y was the 150 and that's it and uh, let's execute this compile and run and we got the same result same as it is like in this paint okay so this is how you basically draw lines and and now uh, let's come to the last function this is called get ch basically this uh, function holds our output if i remove this and compile and run so there you can see the window was popped up but it uh, immediately uh, terminated this uh, so if you wanted to stop window from terminating uh, uh, after execution just include get ch uh, and your terminal uh, sorry your window will not be terminated So this is how you draw a line. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch next video. So bye. Take care.